Welcome back to another video. This time you'll be joining the three of us heading down to Cornwall for a camp over Easter weekend. The agenda was just to have a great relaxing time. We visited Davidstow Airfield and a few other favourite places as well. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Enjoy the video. So first port of call on the trip, as you can see, is Davidstow Airfield. I didn't take my drone this time, but I had these shots sitting there from a few years ago that I needed to use, and I thought I'd cut it into this film. It was very busy in the air this time, there were lots of planes landing, which is quite cool to see. We managed to drive around and take a look. As I said straight away, tiny little micro light taking off, so you have to be quite careful as you're driving around. I love visiting places like this. It's great to hear the history. From 1942 to 1945, it was an active RAF base, and you can see remnants of buildings left behind, as well as the main runway as well. After that, it has been used for Formula One, and in recent years, it was actually featured on an episode of the new Top Gear. It feels very unique to just be able to explore around the place as you want. It's a great place to visit, and I really enjoyed going there. You can even use these old aircraft parking areas to park your Defender. Just to one side of the airfield, a place that I hadn't actually been before, there's a woodland. I'm not sure if it was actually wooded during the war and when it was used as an RAF base, but I hadn't been there before and we thought we'd go over, take a look and take Holly for a little walk. As I was walking around, I saw all these sort of openings which would be perfect for wild camping. I remembered seeing in the Google Maps photos all of these places dotted around just like we parked in earlier. All of these aeroplane holding areas ready to take off. It's great to look back and try and think what it was actually like, all the people serving back then. It's great to walk around, remember the history and also just find out new spots to explore. It's quite funny walking around these woods actually when it's empty, no people around, just surrounded by nature. We kept saying to each other it's like being an episode of The Walking Dead or The Last of Us, just surrounded by nothingness. The endless fir trees running down and the feeling that there were people here once upon a time and all the sort of man-made structures of runways, buildings. I'm sure it'd be a great place to take a metal detector, I'm sure you'd find all sorts hidden under the grass here. After a very good explore, it was definitely time to get back to Boris and start thinking about heading down to our next spot, which was our campsite at Canna Farm. This will be my fourth visit to this campsite. And I have to say, I think now it's one of my favourites that I've ever been to. And I think that's down to the sort of unique character of it, the owners, the situation and sort of the laid back nature of it. And it's not too policed and you can have your own spot amongst the trees. We first came here in 2020, just after lockdown with the All Terrain Collective crew. We were very stuck. Uh, Leo and Frida had an engine rebuild to do and thankfully the owners, Nikki and her husband, put five of us into a very small spot. Um, we've managed to fit five trucks into a single pitch and they managed to lend us some bits and pieces through a 300 TDI and put it all back together. So that was three years ago and I've been here four times since and talked to the owners every time. And I think it's just become one of my favorites and just love to come down here and that's why we're back here again.
Now we've set up camp, it's time to have a cup of tea and sit in the sunshine. This video I'm going to be trialling some links in the description below. If you use those links to buy anything it helps the channel out, helps it grow and also allows me to get out on more adventures so if you do use them thank you so much. The gear that I usually will post is stuff that I've tested quite thoroughly and is well recommended. If you do that thank you very much. We really couldn't have picked a better weekend. Uh, usually Easter is a bit hit or miss, and as I'm recording this right now, it is pouring down with the rain. A few days after, blue skies, lots of people flying around, and just a relaxing time. No one around in the campsite, which I was very surprised at. They now open for Easter, which they didn't used to. We just had a great spot to just chill out. We were almost there for 24 hours, and just used the most of the time that we had and enjoyed the spring sunshine. With the chicken and halloumi wraps finished, it's time to wash up. And who doesn't love a bit of chores sped up to a thousand percent to get them over and done with quickly? With a final hot chocolate, a bit of TV, Holly ready for bed, it was time to go to sleep to get some good rest for the next day. With 
I think it's one of the best things, opening the window in the morning, getting to look out, smell the fresh air, and remember that you're in this little home in the middle of nowhere. just gonna have to apologize because I think every single time I've cooked breakfast on YouTube it's been this meal bacon and eggs scrambled in a wrap this time we had salad with it made it a bit more healthy but I'm definitely gonna start cooking something different and um, also if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comments I have cooked other things for breakfast but this is just an easy one and it's a winner on the campsite Big bite in three, two, one. Oh my god. Well, well, it's good to be able to eat breakfast and assess the rusty chassis. It's a little bit depressing, isn't it? With breakfast and the washing up done, the chore for the morning, it's time to pack up the awning, pack up the whole camp, and start to head home. Of course, just as we're about to head off, big rattles, lots of noises coming. Thought I'd just check the engine bay. It did seem to be rocking around quite a bit, but I reckon it's just a cold start and the bonnet was rattling against the bulkhead. We're all good, we can head off. The mission of the morning was trying to find a nice new spot without too many people. We chose this one near Padstow. It was a great new beach that we could find and hadn't been here before. Had a great little walk down to the beach and once you got there, it was huge, vast, and a really nice place to visit. Couldn't resist putting this lovely Series 2 in the film. One of my favourite Land Rovers. I'd love to have one in the garage. Just up the road, there's an, an industrial estate called Hawksfield near Wadebridge. I think I have to try and get here every single time, even though it's the same every time I visit. This is bespoke traders, bikes, cars, Land Rovers, clothes, hats, you name it, they've got it all. I just love coming in here every time. Quite pricey, obviously the cars are very pricey, clothes are quite pricey too, but just a great place to go and visit and if there's anything on the shelf I want, I'll go and grab it. This Defender was a very expensive, 65 plate with 3,000 miles. Great place to visit if you're there. So we're just driving along and on the way back, I had a lot of boost noises coming out and thinking maybe turbo's on its way out or something happened. But I think I found it just here. You can see there's oil coming out of there. And um, yeah, that's off there. I'm not sure how that's happened. It must have been going up a hill 
must have really um, needed a lot of boost there and just pushed it off. It didn't pop or anything like that, so that's why I didn't think it was a boost hose, but thankfully we'll just sort it now. Used a baby wipe to wipe off the oil, and that meant the clamp stayed on, didn't slip off, tightened it up, and easily back on the road again. No issues there. Might have to find a better long lasting solution for that for next time. And just like that, onto the ferry, and that marks the end of the trip. I decided to go on the ferry rather than the bridge, as it's a bit more exciting. You can see up and down the river the naval boats and uh, the hangars as well where they build all the ships. It was a brilliant trip, we all enjoyed it. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I hope you did too. I'll see you next time.